Good morning, everybody. Happy Christmas Eve, Eve. <laughs> I wanted to come live today to share with you a sample EFT script. I know I did um, I did a workshop on this a couple of weeks ago, and I went over the um, different tapping points on the body. But this EFT, also called tapping, is such a great way to uh, calm calm the mind, calm the body, and really re reduce stress, anxiety, overwhelm, and it can also help with physical pain as well. So I know I've talked a bit about it, and I thought I would just share an example of how you can do this. So you can tap along, tap along with me. You can either say what I'm saying, repeating what I'm saying on each tapping point, or you can, you know, just silently be saying it to yourself and that, and that works fine as well. So I'm excited to share this with you and I'm very curious to, to hear what you guys think. And if this, uh, if this is a, a helpful practice for you, because I know, I know this time of year, it can be super crazy, especially this week. There's lots of last minute things going on, right? And um, I was feeling it this morning and I thought, wow, this is perfect timing to be doing this. So now if for those of you that did not watch the uh, original video about EFT um, and where the tapping points are, you can just follow along and, um, and tap in the same areas that I am, that I am tapping on. Okay. So to begin, I want you to kind of just take, take a deep breath and take a moment to gauge on a scale of one to 10, how anxious and overwhelmed are you feeling in this moment? And you can either write that number down or just, or just remember it, okay? And sometimes I have people tell me like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm feeling. And it's just, it's just taking a minute, closing your eyes and really, um, and really tuning in to what your, what your body is telling you. Where do you, do you feel, you know, do you feel stress in a certain area? A lot of people feel it in their shoulders and their jaw. Do you, um, you know, are your thoughts really running rampant and kind of just gauge on that scale of one to 10 where you're at. It's really important to, to, um, to, to take the time to do this so that you can see if there's a, if there is a change at the end of it. Okay. Okay. So after you rank yourself on that scale, we're just going to dive right in. And so you can either close your eyes uh, while you're doing this. If you know where the points are, I'll be, um, I'll be telling you them. Otherwise, you can keep your eyes open and just uh, and just follow along with me. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to start what's called the with what's called the side of the hand or the the karate chop point. Sometimes it's referred to, right here, this lower part here. Okay, so here we go. Even though I'm feeling anxious and overwhelmed, and I have so much to do, and not enough time, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though this anxiety and overwhelm is really intense in my body, I fully love and accept myself. Even though I have this pattern of holding on to my stress, I know it's time to let it go. And then moving to the top of the head, I feel really overwhelmed. Eyebrow. There's so much to do. Side of the eye, but not enough time. Under the eye. The list is never ending. Under the nose. I'm short on time. Under the mouth. I feel this anxiety building in my body. collarbone. I just can't seem to release this stress. Under the arm. Why do I take this stress on? On the top of the hand. Why do I put this pressure on myself? Top of the head. I'm always doing something. Start of the eyebrow. I wish I could be calmer. Side of the eye. I wish life could be calmer. Under the eye. If I don't do it all, 
How will it get done? Under the nose. There's just so much pressure. Under the mouth. I feel the heaviness of this pressure in my body. Collarbone. It makes me feel scattered. Under the arm. But maybe I can take a deep breath and begin to relax. Top of the hand. Maybe I could try and let some of it go. Top of the head. I can take a little time out. Start of the eyebrow. And trust that everything will get done. Side of the eye. Wait, who says I need to get everything done? Under the eye. Maybe I can change this pattern. Under the nose. If I can decide to do things at my own pace. On the chin. And trust that everything will be okay. Coming to the collarbone. While I value my responsibilities under the arm, I choose to value myself too. And then the top of the hand. I am worthy of feeling calm and relaxed. Top of the head. I find it easy to feel calm and relaxed. Really trying to breathe into that feeling. And even if you can't feel the feeling of relax, relaxation, what you think it would feel like, try to tune into that. Star the eyebrow. I can begin to let go of this pressure that I'm putting on myself. Side of the eye. I can choose to do things differently. Beginning to focus on if there's a specific area of your body where you're feeling this pressure, just bring your attention to that area of the body. And as you breathe in, try and direct your breath to that area. And as you breathe out and you continue to tap, see if you can feel yourself let go, even if it's the tiniest bit under the nose. I can let this be easy. Moving under your, under your mouth, feeling yourself get a little bit lighter as you continue to tap, continue to tune in to that feeling of ease. Moving to the collarbone, taking a moment here to picture what your day is, would be like if you could let go of some of the stress and overwhelm and anxiety. Feel that as you continue to tap. Moving under the arm, breathing into that sense of ease, letting go, top of the hand, and then taking a deep breath in, and then let it all go. And if your eyes are closed, you can open them. And then just take a moment here to notice how your body feels now. Notice if you, if you feel any different and then come back to that, come back to that scale of one, one through 10 and see if it's gone down at all. And now that was only a few rounds. And so if it didn't go down at all, that's okay. And sometimes when we're tapping on, on something, the, the number can actually increase because you, you know, you're thinking about it. And that's not saying that this isn't going to work for you. It's just saying that you need to continue to tap. And it's actually a sign that it is working because the intensity has risen and it will go down if you continue to tap, I promise. Um, so just tune into your body, see how that feels, see if there's any, any sort of shift. If you feel like it's gone down maybe one or two points, that's great. Um, but if you feel like you could use some more, continue to 
continue to tap going through the points. You could listen to this again, um, or you could just do it on your own. And as I've uh, mentioned in previous videos, it's really important to be using your own words here. So this is just an example, but it's really like almost like you're telling a story of what you're feeling and what you've got going on in, in your body and in your mind, as if you were telling a friend and you're just tapping on those points as you're as you're saying it. And again, for those have not that have not watched that other video, there really is the science behind it, because as you're tapping on these points, these are the end points of the meridians. And um, that's how the energy moves through the body. And it's sending this message to the brain to calm the nervous system down. So I hope that helps you. And um, I hope that you all are enjoying a, the, a lovely holiday season. And um, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Um, and let me know, let me know how this, um, how this worked for you. If you gave it a try, I would love to hear. And um, sending you lots of love for the, the best and calmest and full of love and light holiday ever. So take care, guys. Have a great day. Bye.